Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. For a radio audience tuning in at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all can be with us. Also, tuning in to our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. Well, it's that time of year where a lot of us are spending more time with the family, and what better way to be able to spend that time is not only to be able to get a little smarter, but also to make a game out of it. National Geographic is making that a lot easier with their new book from Net Geo Kids. It's it's called Why the Human Body. This book is so much fun. A lot of questions that kids may ask, but to be honest, I've asked some of these questions myself, as I'm sure you may have as well. Here to talk to us about the new book, we're excited to welcome Christina Sauer of Nat Geo Kids. She's going to talk to us not only about compiling this book, but also what they hope readers are able to take away from it. Christina, thank you again for the time. Really do appreciate it. Thanks so much, Cyrus, and for the great introduction to this book. Yeah, we created Why Human Body, and it's all about those things that it's honestly a toolkit for parents, but also a great, amazing book about all the questions that kids ask about themselves and what's going on in the world around them. Yeah, and, and Christina, I, I meant what I said when I when I said some of these questions I've wondered myself. I didn't know the answer to <laughs> be quite honest with you, and I think there are a lot of adults uh, that can learn as well. Is that kind of part of the fun you hope readers have with this book, Christina, that yes, kids will get a lot out of it, but it's something we as a family can kind of be able to go through together? Absolutely. This is like the best book to bring on like a road trip or if you're sitting around a campfire over the summer where you're just like, let's ask some questions and see who knows the answers. Kind of like a human body trivia game. It really goes from everything from anatomy to the gross stuff to your senses and genetics and even the future of bodies. All the big questions that kind of have been burning in your mind of what's going on. And we have a lot of interactive activities too in the book. So whether you want to play a matching game, even for the littlest ones in the family, or if you want to do like a get brainy brain power quiz to learn more about What's my brain? Why does my brain do this? Um, how much does it weigh? It's a really, really fun book with lots of great graphics and photos. Yeah, and that is what – I'm so glad you said that, Christina, because that is what, of course, when we think about National Geographic in general, that's what we think about are the photos. But I love the fact that a book like this from Net Geo Kids gives us those great photos and images, but also, I mean, the messages behind it. Two of them I'll mention that I'm sure our audience have thought about. One of them is, why can't I remember everything? And as I'm about to turn 48, Christina, I, I think of that myself like, I mean – something that I may have done even earlier in the day. Sometimes it's more difficult to remember. Another co- great question that I think would be great for families is, why do I get angry when I'm hungry? I think, again, all of us can relate to that. So what was it like for you, uh, Christina, kind of seeing some of these questions and then learning the answers to them? Well, and that's the truth. As the editor, and we worked with a great author. Her name's Paige Towler. She would bring us questions and answers that I'd go, oh, I feel the same way. Like, why is my brain wrinkly? What's it made up of? And and as I was learning, too, it kind of sparked more questions in that area. So it's, as a reader, you can start with, oh, what's my brain made of? And then the next page talks about, you know, why is my brain wrinkly? And then it gets into the question of why do I get hangry? What signals is going on in my brain from my stomach to my brain that makes me grumpy? So these were really, really fun. And then we also add some, like, fun facts, too. So, like, the brain is wrinkly question, right? Hmm. When you have a brain, it's, it, your brain when it's larger doesn't necessarily mean that you're smarter. It's actually how many different wrinkles you have because it allows more surface area for one part of your brain to touch the other part and the neurons can fire more often because they're closer together. And an example of this is one of the people in the world that had the wrinkliest brain was Albert Einstein. So it's just some really fun, interactive questions that, honestly, every time I got a manuscript, I was like, I just learned something new about myself that I can't wait to share with the world. Yeah, and and I think, too, some of the things we take for granted, like one of my favorite questions, Christina, was what are scabs? 
You know, it, and you know, again, we we know it happens to the body. We know the body heals itself. How does it happen? Why does it happen? Is that also part of the hope when the editors were kind of compiling this, Christina, that it kind of sparks more conversations that make people want to do even more research to learn more about themselves and others? Exactly. So this is just honestly, it's the surface level. It, it asks, answers the questions that are. The first things beyond just like when you're very little, like, where's my nose? Well, now it's like, okay, well, what is my nose? What's in my nose? How does my nose Mm -hmm. filter out the stuff that's bad and makes me sneeze? Um, But that's that's the idea is we're going to give you some information that you can take that next step further. I will also say we aren't afraid of addressing really complex subjects, but we make them in a really fun, engaging manner that you learn really big words that later on in life, too, you can go and go, oh, I already know what a chromosome is because Matthew and kids told me, and that's why I we're trying to figure out if we can live forever is whether or not the chromosome ends are, are shrinking or not. Um, so those are little things that we like to add in there. Um, I will say, like, editor, it's so fun to think of what questions kids are asking, and especially the, the author will go out and, and ask kids questions, and then we answer them. And then sometimes I'll get questions, too, after the book has been published. So I'm always welcome to having kids write me, and I can be like, yeah, that's a great question that we can add to the next book that we talk about the human body. Yeah, love that, love that. Such a great book and such a great conversation, uh, Christina, that is great for our audience as we're getting ready, as you mentioned, for trips or even spending time just at home for us to be able to not only to answer questions, but also I love the idea, and one thing I've tried to do with my nephew is if I don't know something to say I don't know, but let's see if we can find out together. And I think that's why a book like this is so cool for the family because it allows the kid to see, you know, parents may not know it all, adults may not know it all, but we can actually learn together and it can be fun to be able to do that. Again, everyone, Christina Sauer has been our guest. The new book from Net Geo Kids is Why the Human Body. You can get it through our friends at Amazon.com or through your favorite local bookstore. If they don't have it, I know they'd be more than happy to be able to order it for you. Also, make sure you guys do visit NetGeoKids.com for more great information there as well. Christina, really appreciate you stopping by and looking forward to speaking with you again. Thank you again, Cyrus. I really appreciate it as well. Thank you. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live, and let's go make today amazing. Take care.